in the beginning, for, for the first couple of years, and we were just playing to please ourselves anyway. I mean, I guess it was a good form of therapy. <laughs> thinking to myself, well, I'm a vocalist, Lucky's a drummer, Greg's a guitar player, all we need is a bass player and we could be a band. Drink, 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 drink. I got it, cause I got From January 1980, we started practicing, me, Lucky, Roger, and Keith. I was living in Inglewood and I had a garage in Inglewood and that's where we started playing. By that point, uh, L.A. punk was sort of taking on its own identity, distinct from uh, the way music uh, that I was originally used to in Northern California. I thought that Keith was the best front man in, in L.A. And I was like, I can't believe he wants to be in a band with me because I can barely play guitar. The Black Flag vibe was, we're, we're going to blow things up, whereas the Circle Jerks were, were the guys that wanted a party and like, let's have a good time, you know, our day jobs suck and life blows and let's just, you know, get together at night and orgy and just like make a bunch of noise and have fun. I had become completely in love with cocaine. I was up to maybe a case and a half, two cases of beer a day. Private swing party Friday and Saturday. I was pretty unhappy and there was friction. You know, when, you, when you're around people for as long as we've been around each other, all sorts of resentment start to pop up. We were going to write some songs, we were going to record some songs, we were going to pass out our demo, we were going to get millions and millions of dollars, and we were going to be as big as Nirvana. Nine, three, seven, five, six. Best time to call is Friday and Saturday afternoons. To live on the edge. People want to like be dancing on the on the razor's edge and not know what's going to happen. And that's what it was like at the shows. And that's what the music embodied. See you there.